Hello again and welcome back. This is part three of the DOSBox beginner tutorial and now as we saw in part two we've set up the joystick or joypad and we're ready to test it with the game. So let's press a key to exit this and CD into Rally C and type Rally to start the game. And again, I better mute the audio. OK, and I'm just going to hit escape to skip the intro. Right, so I'm going to go down now with the arrow keys to game options and control options. And control is set to joystick, so I need to come down here and calibrate controller. Press enter. OK, so this is the calibration screen and you'll know if you've got the joystick mappings correct because if you have it will actually let you leave this screen without pressing escape. So when it says push the joystick left I'm going to push the analog stick to the left and press the green button and then to the right and press the green button. When it says pull joystick back I'm going to squeeze the left trigger and then press the green button and when it says push joystick forward I'm going to squeeze the right trigger and press the green button. When it says center joystick obviously take your fingers off all the controls and press green. Aha! Excellent! So we know that was successful because it's gone back to the previous screen. If there was something wrong it would keep going round in a loop asking you to keep pressing the directions. So with that if I hit escape and escape again I can actually try the game now. Let's pick any old car and any old music. And just continue here. Okay, so there I am in my Subaru and squeeze the trigger you can see the needle going up on the dashboard uh, I actually need to press A to put it into gear even though it's auto gears and it looks like I can steer brake accelerate and everything's hunky-dory so that's a result I'm now playing this old DOS game with an Xbox 360 controller which you know is pretty cool OK, so to round off, I'm just going to press escape and yes to retire. Um, this is now pretty good. Um, there's a few little changes that we could make to improve things. I'm going to do these in Xpadder because it's basically a lot easier. Now, just flick back to this rally game for a second. We can't navigate the menus using the control pad. We can only use up, down, left, right on the keyboard. So why don't we fix that? Let's go into Xpadder and then on the Xbox 360 D-pad click and we'll assign up, down, left and right to the D-pad and then I'm going to say put start button as enter. This is the beauty of Xpadder, you can just emulate any keyboard control at all. Then I'm going to use the back button as escape. So that sets us up nicely for navigating the menus. And then on this button here I'm going to assign that to C because that's the button you press for view change. So we're pretty much set. Let's go back to DOSBox and with up down on the pad. See if I can show you that without um, covering it up. So up down on the D-pad now is navigating through the options on the menu and to select one I press start and then I can go left and right to choose what level I want to do press start again, left and right to choose a car the escort, left and right to choose the music and yeah we're off, we're into the game and I've not needed to switch the keyboard or mouse at all. 
and I can even use the shoulder button there to change my view. So I can have the outside view. And that's pretty much it. We've gone from nothing to getting this game running perfectly in Windows 7 64-bit with an Xbox 360 controller running every bit as good as it did, probably better than it did, on the original hardware. And I for one think that's pretty cool. So hopefully this has um, inspired you to try out a few DOS games for yourself. Most of them are CD-ROM games will install like this. It gets a bit more complicated when you get into games with 3DFX support. But um, you can find lots of tutorials on the net as to how to get them working. And that's it. Enjoy your retro PC games. And don't forget to visit my site or sites. <laughs> okay, this is Booko from Video Game Perfection and TopWindowsTutorials.com, just to name drop those again. Signing off.